Well, good afternoon. Today is February 18th, and it's actually National Battery Day. So here's the deal. Um, this sounds kind of funny, but I'm actually kind of into batteries a little bit. Um, and so here's what I wanted to do. I wanted to share with you um, some of the different batteries I use. I have switched our entire house over to rechargeable batteries. I've actually changed almost everything over to rechargeable batteries because the technology in rechargeable batteries is is nearly equivalent to um, all the other disposable batteries. And why dispose of something when you don't need to, when you can buy a little bit more expensive battery and then charge it hundreds and hundreds of times. So that's what I've decided to do. And not only have I done that, um, I've gone as far as making a solar generator, which means uh, I have a basically a giant battery pack that is charged from solar panels, or I could plug it into a wall, but um, I love to use it when we go camping and we can um, charge phones or computers or drones or whatever um, by using some solar panels. So I want to show you guys all that. So I'd say there's there's a couple major brands of rechargeable batteries, and there are tons, but I would say as far as price and accessibility and ease, um, I think there's really three major companies that uh, are doing really, really well right now. Um, the first one, and just cheapest, and they're everywhere, um, Amazon Basics. Amazon makes a great rechargeable battery. Um, what I've heard is that they use um, another company, Enloop, or Sanyo, they use their last generation or they just rewrap them. And I gotta say, um, they're 2400 milliamps uh, and milliamp hours, and they are great batteries. They last for a really long time. Um, they have great storage capacity on the shelf, and I've used them over and over and over and have had some of them die. Um, but what I've noticed is when you let any type of rechargeable battery completely deplete, um, if you don't immediately recharge it or um, if, and if you let it sit around, that sometimes the batteries themselves, the cell will die. So what I like to do is recharge them more often because um, a cycle of a battery is when it's depleted to... I think 70 or 60% or less. So if you can recharge it right away, um, the battery doesn't cycle, meaning that um, it's gonna last longer and larger, longer. So Amazon makes some great ones. I have them in um, different sizes. I have them in AA, I have them in AAA, and I even have adapters so I can use them as D batteries, which is kind of cool. So, um, and another one that I really like is Enloop. And this is a little kit they sell that, um, I have this one and I don't open it. This is like my, kind of emergency if I need to go and I just got to grab some batteries to have with me. I have this little kit and it's super cool. So inside of it is a charger. It's uh, AA batteries, AAA batteries, and then adapters for C where you just slide the battery in there and then for a D and it also comes with a charger. So this is a cool little kit that I like to have around. Uh, Enloop has like a seven year shelf life before the batteries um, drop too low. And every once in a while, I probably should just open this thing up and charge them. But um, I really love uh, Enloop. This company makes some great stuff. This case is really cool because these aren't the batteries in my normal rotation. Um, I just kind of keep that thing around. But um, my favorite company right now um, it's jumped back and forth quite a bit, but I use these batteries in everything from um, audio equipment at work um, to my video game controllers and my flashlights and everything I have is this company EBL. EBL, um, again, makes them in different sizes, but um, they have a 2800 amp hour and I think they actually have a high capacity version, which is um, a little bit higher than this. And these are nickel metal hydride. They're great batteries and they last a, a very long time. Um, if you've ever used anything that has a battery meter, one thing I've noticed about rechargeable batteries is when you put them in, you may lose the first bar pretty quickly if there's four bars, but you'll stay in that two, three bar range for a really long time. So 
Um, I love these batteries. I use them in everything. And so much so, I'm into camping and outdoors and all that. My wife and I have kind of made a choice that we're gonna to try to stick to everything rechargeable and everything that fits double A's or triple A's. So things like my camping flashlights um, or lanterns or any of that stuff that we take with us is all double A or triple A. I even have an adapter where you can put batteries in it and then use it as a USB charger. So there's just so many different uses. And then what's great about that is then you can just stick to a couple of chargers. So chargers with rechargeable batteries are really important because there's kind of like dumb chargers and smart chargers. Um, a, a dumb charger, <laughs> which is what I'll call this, I don't know what they're actually called, just a charger. Um, this is a great one, this is the EBL one, just plugs into the wall. And basically what it does is it charges I'm on a two banks at a time and when it reaches capacity, um, it turns it off. Now it's gonna charge things safely because it's gonna read more voltage and, and some of that stuff um, versus a smart charger which would charge each one individually and monitor the health of the battery and charge it faster or slower um, depending on what's going on. And EBL makes a smart charger. What's cool is when it's plugged in, every single cell is charged separately. And this one's cool because it does nine volts. Um, it does, um, it does triple A's and it does double A's, but I wanted to take that one step farther and get a higher end one because like I said, I use these all the time. So I bought this guy. It's the IntelliCharger i4 and I love it. And here's why. On the back, there's a list of all the different battery types that it takes. And this one, it has the plug that comes out so I can actually plug it into my car so I can charge these batteries off of my cigarette lighter which is awesome because I don't smoke, so it's just a battery charging port. So it does double A's, it does triple A's, but in some of my flashlights, I have these super high capacity. This is a double A, this is a 1860, what is it, 18, well this is a RCB2. I forgot what it is. This is a RCB2, but it's, it's also known as the 18650. Um, and these are great for flashlights. This is a lithium polymer, so they have these nice lipo. Oh wait, this is, yeah, yeah, this is a lithium ion. So these are great, super powerful when you put these in flashlights. They actually have packs where you can put a couple of these in and then use them as USBs um, to charge. So these are great too. So this is a new battery that I've added to my collection that I really, really enjoy. Um, and it also fits in this guy. So it's cool to be able to um, put all different size batteries in one charger. It charges them each correctly and um, I've noticed that if I take it out of a less expensive charger and put it into a nicer charger, um, it will charge it more and add more to it. So somehow something in this charger can read and know what's going on better. So this charger itself, um, it does lithium ion in like eight or nine different sizes nickel metal hydride, uh, AA, AAA, quadruple A, and C. So you can get a bunch of different batteries in this little charger and um, it charges them faster and it charges them to a higher capacity. So I'm a really big fan of this company and this charger. So rechargeable batteries are incredible. I, I have one more thing that I love that I want to show you guys. I forgot to mention, I also have this little guy that I keep in my backpack. It's a USB charger and it does um, AAA and then you flip this up for AA and it's just really little and small and the benefits of things like this is I can just keep this in my backpack and charge it off of my computer or anything but that's the benefit of sticking to everything being rechargeable by AA or AAA is the chances are if I grab a flashlight and open it up it's gonna have rechargeable AA batteries in it which I can almost guarantee you. There we go. EBLs. So um, this battery just sits up, or this this um, flashlight just sits up on my shelf and it's ready to go. Um, when the power dropped out, I've got a few of these that just sit up there and I grab them and I turn them on and I know they're good to go. Um, and once a year, I pop the batteries out, I, re I just top them off just for kicks and put them back in and, and the battery's always ready. So, yeah. So this is what I want to show you guys. This is my solar uh, 
generator is, is the terminology, which really just means that it's a giant battery pack. And um, I made this thing because I looked them up. There's some great companies, Goal Zero and stuff that make them, but they're so expensive. Um, and I just want to pay for it because I'm cheap or whatever, but also um, I like to learn how things work So I wanted to make my own so This is it. So let me show it to you real quick. So right here in the front um, There are some switches so you turn these two switches on one of them turns on the solar charger that's inside I'll show you in a minute the other one turns on all of my output so you can read my voltage right there What's it at? So 12.5, so this one's actually just about dead, so I need to go charge it, which I will do shortly after this. Um, but I've got a couple different things. I've got a cigarette lighter, uh, which is great. And then over here on the side, there it is right here, um, I've got some USBs. So um, what I've done is I've connected this to its own fuse, and um, it's using some larger wire. And I have a, a power inverter that I will plug into this so that I could run 110 volts, so I can charge... Um, my drone batteries or I can do things that require a little bit more power um, but this is a 40 amp hour battery pack so um, it can charge stuff for quite a while it cost me I don't remember under $200 to make but the equivalent one for sale is is about 600 bucks so um, I knew I was saving some money and also learning which I love to do so um, it's not the prettiest thing inside but it's safe and it does its job so let me show it to you So I, I, I realize it kind of looks like a bomb. It's not a bomb, um, but but here it is. So this is my solar battery pack. Uh, sorry, um, that's my solar battery charger. And what it does is when I plug my solar panels in, it measures the voltage of the batteries and it can regulate it to make sure that the health of the batteries, it cycles them once they're fully charged to make sure that they are topped off and healthy and ready to go. Um, it also, um, so it has an input for solar panels, an input for batteries, or, and then this one is a load, so you can connect things to it. So once the batteries are depleted to a point, it will stop powering things out to make sure that your batteries are safe. Um, I bypass that because, I don't know, I just wanted to connect it directly to batteries. So um, I put a little light here, so if I'm ever working on it um, at night when I'm camping, I can see what I'm doing if I need to open it up. Um, and then there's space inside of here where um, I can connect tools. I, I actually keep this light bulb that plugs into it, um, just random cords so I can plug stuff in um, in any situation depending on what's going on. So this is my cord for my battery charger, that i4 battery charger. And I keep it all in here so that when I'm ready to go, I can just grab it. And as you can see, um, it looks a little sketchy, but I promise it's not. Um, I've got two uh, 20 amp hour batteries that are connected together to give it 40 amp hours and um, this this little block to help connect things but it, everything's fused and um, it's just a cool thing cool thing for me to learn but also it's just a great little battery pack it's in a waterproof case which is awesome on the back I have two connections for a solar panel so I have a little 30 uh, watt solar panel I can take with me or I've got a big 300 one I can connect outside which I'll probably do today um, to recharge this thing real quickly. All right, so that's the story when it comes to rechargeable batteries. Uh, I love them. If you have any questions, post them below. Um, I'd love to help you out and point you in the right directions. Um, I will put the Amazon links to some of my favorite products below. They're not affiliate links because I've tried that before and Amazon totally ripped me off. Um, well, it ripped me off. It just it didn't work, so stop doing it. Um, but yeah, so check out some of the links below and if you have any questions, please let me know. Um, solar chargers are awesome. Um, I even have a little rollout panel one with USB plugs in it so I can recharge my batteries or phone anywhere. So uh, yeah, go ahead and grab some of those and uh, happy National Battery Day.